The word Bible comes from the Greek biblia, meaning simply the books. The plural is significant. The Bible is a collection of books written over a period of more than a thousand years in very different cultural and historical situations and in a rich variety of styles and language. There are two main parts to the Bible. The Old Testament presents the history and religious thought of the Jews to the end of the time of the prophets. The New Testament comprises 27 mainly quite short writings by Christians of the first century AD. These are four Gospels, setting out from different points of view the life and teaching of Jesus, the Acts of the Apostles, which tells of the first 30 years of the Christian Church, 13 letters to churches and individuals by Paul, the great missionary leader, eight other letters by early Christian leaders, and the Revelation of John, a visionary work cast in the mould of Jewish apocalyptic literature. Christians have regarded these varied Old and New Testament writings as a whole. Indeed, without the writings of the Old Testament, the specifically Christian books of the New Testament could hardly be understood. To Christians, Jesus is the key to understanding both the Old and New Testaments. The Bible is inspired, and it's frequently called the Word of God. The writers wrote in their own language, Hebrew for the Old Testament and Greek for the New, and in their own historical setting. Yet what they wrote was directed by God, so the result was no less God's Word than theirs. The Bible progressively reveals not only God's acts, but his mind and will. In theory, all Christians accept the Bible as authoritative, both in guiding their actions and forming their beliefs. And any recognisably Christian faith must be founded on the Bible. That's why Bible translation is a major concern of the Christian churches. Today the whole Bible is available in some 330 languages and the New Testament in 770 more. Translation is in progress in a further 900 languages.